Hey, what's up guys, how's it going? Now, the PS2 was a absolute gem of a system, or at least back in the year 2000, which means I am an old ass man, but the PS2 had tons of great titles and shovelware. What we're gonna do here today is just talk about some of my favorites. They may not be the best PS2 games out there, I'll, I'll give you that, but these, these are some of my personal favorites. These games kinda stand out to me, whether it's the graphics, the gameplay, the music, whatever, but enough bullshit, let's get started. to play. Alrighty, now how are we going to talk about the PS2 and not bring up Katamari Damacy? Just overall a fun game where you just roll a ball and collect a bunch of junk, as you can see by the gameplay. And of course, that's a Japanese weirdness here and there. But this game is just overall entertaining. Of course, you start off with a small ball, you, you collect junk and hands and stuff like that. But of course, as the ball gets bigger, you start collecting people and cars and shit like that. If you've played Katamari Damacy before, either on the original PS2 or the remake, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't played the game yet, I highly recommend it. It's on Switch, it's on PS4, Xbox One, all that shit. Or you can go retro and buy a copy for the original PS2. The game is still dirt cheap at 14 to 15 bucks. Alrighty, Ape Escape 2. Now this one is a personal classic for me and I cannot talk about this game enough. The whole Ape Escape series is just underrated. This game is essentially a platformer where you capture monkeys. And of course it has a continuous storyline but that's mostly a background thing, it doesn't really play a huge part in the gameplay. But you will get occasional cutscenes here and there. And the game could definitely range in difficulty, but I, I kind of like that. Either way though, this game is a personal classic to me. I remember playing this a lot back in the day. And it, it's it's kind of it's kind of fucked up that Sun you won't bring back this series. I mean, I don't see reason not to. It's just a fun game about capturing monkeys. But either way, it's rather unfortunate, but you can't really play this game on modern hardware except for emulation. And the physical copy is not cheap. It'll run you around 50 to 60 bucks, but I would highly, highly, highly recommend people check out this game the whole series i cannot talk about the series enough now let's talk about a game with a much more serious tone manhunt a stealth based game where you try to take out certain gangs and you have to take them out kind of gruesomely because well you were a part of death row some rich millionaire got you out and now you're a part of a snuff film you basically get dropped off on certain levels and you have to make it to the end and you have to kill a certain amount of people and this game was extremely controversial back in the day i know this may be weird but that's partially the reason why i like this game so much a game like this would never be made today with how gruesome and dark the tone is modern rockstar would never touch this franchise again this may be a bit weird for me to say but that's a bit fucked up Modern games should have a lot more creativity, but we seem to be going off the rails. This game is great. Listen, if you're getting tired of GTA 5, give Manhunt a chance. Play it on PS4 and or emulation, or you can go retro and buy the PS2 version, and that's still, eh, so much cheap. It's about 20 to 30 bucks, but yeah, Manhunt. I've definitely grown to like this game over time. Now, here's another Rockstar hidden gem, State of Emergency. This is a much more, I guess, arcadey beat em up game. Essentially in a riot, and you have to kill a bunch of cops or civilians, and this game is weirdly gruesome. There's blood flying everywhere and all that shit, it's, it, it's weird. And there is a little bit of a storyline, but similar to Ape Escape, it doesn't really play, it, shit, it barely plays a role at all. You just grow through the level and try to kill as much people as you can. And this game is still dirt cheap, it's like 5 to 10 bucks. Although, unfortunately, I don't think it's available on modern hardware. But I'm pretty sure anybody could get a real PS2 and a copy of this game for a reasonable price, like under 100 bucks. Here's another dead series that modern game companies won't bring back. Midnight Club! Specifically Midnight Club 3. It's very similar to Need for Speed Underground. Underground where you're an underground street racer and you have to essentially, you know, make it to the top. But instead of taking place in one city, it takes place throughout three cities. San Diego, Detroit, and Tokyo, I believe. Yes, I am willing to admit this game does get really repetitive, but the customization in this game is amazing. And believe it or not, this game graphically holds up pretty well. Now, I think when it comes to modern hardware, I think this is available on PS4. I, I could be wrong. But either way, if you want to go retro, you can get it on the PS2 or the PSP. Your choice are both relatively cheap. PS2, it's like 20 to 30 bucks. On the PSP, it's 20 bucks. So however you want to experience this game, just get it. Emulation, real hardware, doesn't matter. Just play these games. None of these series are really going to make a comeback besides remakes, or if not that, Rockstar or anybody else is probably going to mess them up. So experience these games, give them a chance. That's all I ask. And hey, if you want to, 
like, subscribe, do what you're going to do, nourish, and uh, tell me down below, what's your favorite PS2 game? What did you play back in the day? What PS2 game stuck out to you the most? Tell me down in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>